It's Fidel Castro's 89th birthday. The former Cuban president celebrated by blasting the U.S. and its policies. He wrote an editorial saying Washington owes Havana millions of dollars for the trade embargo. Castro also assured Cubans that the country will never stop fighting for peace and welfare of all human beings. Castro's compatriots celebrated the revolutionary's birthday in grandiose style. CCTV's Michael Voss attended one of those parties. A free open-air concert in Havana's anti-imperialist plaza, located right in front of the U.S. Embassy. But at midnight, the music stopped, replaced by cries of, Long live Fidel. We wish him good health and happiness. I hope he stays as lucid as ever. And to mark the former leader's 89th birthday, there was a short film showing highlights of the revolution he led. Then the festivities resumed once more. Others came to offer their personal birthday greetings, among them Bolivia's president, Evo Morales. We come on our own accord to join Fidel Castro on his birthday and offer congratulations to our brother Fidel, his government, and all the Cuban people. This week also saw the opening of a photo exhibition of 50 years of Fidel, including some rarely seen images of the two Castro brothers together. Cuba's first vice president and heir apparent spoke there of Friday's dedication of the U.S. Embassy in Havana. It is a victory for the heroism of the Cuban people. The clear lesson of history is that it was unacceptable that a major power kept up barriers to talks with a small country that has only taken on the task of building a better country and better world. On Friday, the U.S. Embassy will become the center of attention. These birthday celebrations are a reminder that Cuba remains proud of its revolutionary traditions and isn't about to compromise on its beliefs. Michael Voss, CCTV, Havana.